world. Are you guys ready to get freaky? Machine freaky, that is. I need to get my spark plug for the Honda. Get this day going. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get this Honda running today and like a top. I'm pretty sure she's going to run. It's just, I want it to run perfectly. Absolutely perfectly, beautifully, everything like that. Let's get a spark plug, get back to the shop, put her in, start it up. You've got parts! I'm excited. I believe these are BMW parts. It is beautiful out. I want to do this as quick as possible. I am in a rush. Funny shot. What the heck? They didn't even give me all my parts. At least I got one of them though. This is all I really need. Let's put this thing in. Don't worry, I will show you guys the rest of the parts, just not yet. The sun's going down, this fall thing sucks. This winter thing sucks. Whatever you want to call it sucks. Weather! This is a differential mount. It's like that. This is the differential. Okay, I was unsure if I had to take this ring out of this thing. So I left it in. But it looks like it has to come out. This is the ring, can you see it? You got two different material, you got the aluminum differential and that's probably steel. Maybe it's maybe it's aluminum, but I just have to take that out, throw this one in there so it looks like this. This one's in pretty good shape. There's a third one on the car. That one looks good as well. It was just this one because the bolt was screwed up. I'll show you guys once I get under the car. And this is probably not the best way to do this, but we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna take the new one, put it on top of the old one, put a piece of wood on top of it, and hit it with a sledgehammer. That is never going to work. The reason being is this is going to tip. I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I've never really cut metal with a sawzall. My dad got this for me for Christmas two years ago. And I think I busted it out of the package. This is probably the third time now. Don't really use it that often. Another thanks to my dad. Yeah! He's making this video possible. Follow this clip. Let's make it happen, Captain. way too far that sucks that really sucks that sucks so bad <laughs> see this is what you get for being in a rush you, you rush and then you you cost yourself more money than it's worth son of a pup that's not that's not making me too happy see this side's nice I didn't even nick this yet I didn't nick the aluminum yet but on the other side it kind of looks worse than it actually is, but I did hit it. Not that much, but still, now that's a weak point. It's kind of like when you're rushing to work, and then you get these buses that pull out in front of you, and then you got slow people that are bleeding. It takes forever. And then you accidentally speed in front of a cop. That's the exact same scenario that's playing out here. It's just, this one is probably more expensive than a ticket. This, this differential is expensive. I could honestly take this to school and weld it up. And I'm debating whether or not I should do that now before I install it, because now we have a weak point. And if I install this, and then put it in the car, put this through absolute hell by doing burnouts, drifting, and all that stuff, will this completely snap off and be more difficult to weld? Or will this little notch not affect it? I guess um, we'll, we'll put it in. Worst case scenario, it breaks, we replace it. I don't know. That's life, kids. Being in a rush probably costs people the most money out of everything. I'm not a master mechanic. If I've been there and done that, then I'll tell you and I'll, I'll give you my advice. But this is my first time doing this. Let's put a little bit more meat on the bone.
I'm happy. I guess. This boot replaces this boot right here, the one nearest the differential, because what happened is that mount broke, which dropped the differential down and resulted in this boot rubbing up against the exhaust right here and tore it and rip it and burnt it and everything else. You can see the nice slice in it right there. So I'm really appreciating BMW's design right now. They have this little clip in here. All I have to do is take the clip out and then this whole thing should slide off. Slide my new one on, put some new grease in it and we should be all set. Just getting the clamp around the back side of the boot. There that is. So now this should pop off. Just like that. Wow. I really like that design. Really like that design. You know, this car can be a pain, but at the same time, it can be a beauty. So now I just gotta make sure I put everything back where it came from. That is awesome. I really, really like that. All I gotta figure out how to do is take this section off of this section. Now rust acts as weld. It's it's nature's welding bond. Thanks a lot, salt water. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of research. Sometimes I won't do a little bit of research. This is one of those things that I didn't do any research at all. I just kind of look at how things are, are put together and then I just disassemble them while, while I pay attention to them. That way I can Put them back together it looks like this process is working right now see how i got that ring right there you can you can see the difference in color oh this, this rubber was going to hell anyways it, it's a good thing that this broke now and not during the winter because it probably only would have lasted another year look at look at that wear they said youtube was a clean job i guess it can be it's just i don't like to work like that i like to get down and dirty Okay, that's all ready to rock and roll. Next, let's clean up these balls. I'm glad we're only doing the one and not the other side as well. I said it before and I'll say it again, grease is my worst enemy. I, I dislike it. Actually, I hate it. This grease is making it impossible for the boot to slide over this one section of the CV shaft or CV axle, whatever you want to call it. I mean, this might be good for longevity purposes, but to get this thing over it, it sucks. It's like being on ice right now. Or if you're trying to walk across a frozen lake or frozen pond, you don't get that much traction, that's exactly what my hands are going through. I just can't get it on, yeah! So now that that goes on, finally, gotta get my grease, tube full of grease. They sent it to me. Really appreciate it, guys. Grease usually comes with every boot that you buy. All I'm doing is tapping the C-clip so that it, it finds its spot that it's got to go. It's riding into its groove, so that means it's in place. Now we can slap everything back together. That makes me one happy camper. There we go. We're all set. Granted, I have to, you know, tighten the clamp at the end here, but other than that, we're all set. Grease sucks! Yep. That's the clamp I'm talking about. I just have to put that on the end and tighten it down. Oh, bud, what do you say? Can we get up in here like nothing? Can we make this happen? I just want to totally just grab the thing and just throw it in there. It's just, it's so heavy and awkward. When I get hangry, I just get very unprofessional. <laughs> 